Good afternoon. It has often been said that it, it is not your environment, it is you. <coughs> the quality of your mind, the integrity of your soul, and the determination of your wills that will decide our future and shape our lives regarding education. It is known that the majority of students in North Carolina will attend public schools. And I support public schools. I support our principals, I support our teachers, I support our assistant principals and the caseworkers and the nurses and making sure that North Carolina has the best public schools in America. But I also know that, and I was telling Bishop Davis from Charlotte who's here today, that you know, from my home in Charlotte, there's two ways to get to Winston-Salem. I can go 77 North, I can go 85. But any route that I take, I will get to my destination, which is Winston. My point is this. My destination is to making sure that every child in North Carolina receives a quality education by any means necessary, by any path necessary. Get public schools, get charter schools, and giving them the opportunity to succeed. Your education should not be based on your zip code. It should not be based on who your mother is or your father is. It should not be based on your income level. It should be based on the ability for that child to learn and achieve. What I'm here today standing for is access to quality education quality schools and giving children of North Carolina an opportunity, poor children in North Carolina. You just heard from Victory Christian, New Birth Charlotte, Friendship Baptist Church, the Park Missionaries, all schools in Charlotte educating poor black children. I want to give them a hand. I want to give them an opportunity to help someone reach their destination. I want to get a kid to Duke. I want to get a kid to Johnson C. Smith University. That's right. I want to get a kid to Harvard or Howard. I don't care how they get there. <clears throat> they can go to Mallory Creek High School, a public school like my kids did. They can go to Victory Christian. They can go to Kip Academy. But I want to make sure that parents have the opportunity to make good quality decisions for their children, for their kids. How we deliver public education in America has to change. Has to change. And I want to be a part of that change. I want to welcome this bill to the Senate. I want to massage it a little bit. Now, <laughs> And I, I want to create an opportunity where a child and a parent can sit down and make a decision as a family about what's in the best interest of that child. Mm -hmm. That's why we're standing here. That's why I, I am a leader. And I clearly know that doing what is popular is, is not right. And sometimes doing what is right is not popular. But I'm here to be a leader. And I want to lead on things that are important for our community. That's why I stand with these guys today. To work together across the aisle to create an environment where kids can succeed. And we may agree and we'll, and we'll disagree. And we may have to side, massage some things to get it right, but there is no question that it is right to do what is in the best interest of poor kids. I work professionally at Johnson C. Smith University as assistant to the president. And I see kids from all walk of life come on our campus looking for an opportunity. And we give opportunities. All they want is an opportunity to be successful. Whether they come from Ballantyne, where, where the houses range four or $500,000, or they come from the old Piedmont courts when mommy and daddy's on food stamps and looking for public assistance to make ends meet. They want to get to their destination, which is a quality education. 